Hey there, it's Claudia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for the first time. So since I had to move my bookshelves out of my craft room to make room for a teaching space, I figured I could go ahead and give you a little mini tour of what it looks like. We are currently renovating our living room. And so for furniture purposes, there's none in here because they are still on order. I will give you a quick look. It is a pretty long living room. I believe it is... 13 wide by 20 deep. Um, we have our TV area, our main Christmas tree. Right there is our kids tree where the kids ornaments will go. And then if I step back, I just went to the bookstore to get two copies of something. Here are my main shelves. I know that I had shared privately with a few people on my bookstagram on Instagram that I was gonna get three or four more shelves. I had decided just to stick with my three full, two half and my Harry Potter shelf because I do not want to overload. I do have wall space for the three or two more and a full that I was thinking about getting, but I'm just gonna stay here. These shelves are my faith base um, shelves where my different versions of the Bible and faith related reads will be located on my shelf. There's no rhyme or reason. I used to have them alphabetically, but just for how I was laying them out out here, it wasn't going to work. So I have my older books that really should go into a glass case, but I don't have one. Um, some of those books are from 1880. Uh, like I have one of the first textbooks, a spelling book, I believe it was. And then those are the two books that I just purchased. Um, they're collector's editions with like bookmarks and such. And so I am not going to give a tour of my books. If you are interested in that, just go ahead and comment below. But I will quickly scan. And you can pause and look. Uh, you can see... My MacBook Pro is on there. I was updating my to-be-read list that I own um, on Goodreads. And then some of my manga is out here. I do need to move some more of my manga out, but my comic book collection is probably going to stay within the craft room. Now, right here, I do have my December reads so far that I plan on reading. Here are my current reads, and inside this bin, my Nook e-reader is in there, my AirPods, a coaster, House of Leaves, and Renegades. Those are some new buys that I got for to wrap up for our Christmas reads. So we do read, or we like to read a book each evening through December as a family advent. And then this just holds my current Bible and all of my journaling needs. Somebody had asked how I do that. There is a quick like unedited video that shows how I do that. So if I just open up to a space, that's how I Bible journal. I don't add things to it. It's just highlighter and pen. Um, these are both of my caps, sashes, and tassels from previous degrees, uh, I will have a third cap for my PhD. And my plan is, without making you guys sick, to get a full um, shadow box right here to go ahead and put them on display. I worked hard for my degrees. Um, you kind of just seen a flash to the right of all my comic books on my table. They will be going back into my craft room on my kitchen table. And then here's my Harry Potter shelf as of now. I do have another set coming in, the adult edition paperback. And I'm hoping my husband will purchase me the hardback for Christmas. So the paperback set will go down here and those bags will move to the side. My husband's gonna be redoing all the electrical in here. So the face plates are missing. So that is the organization for now. Um, if I do change anything, of course, I'll show you. I'm going to open my drapes back up. That's a lot of light that comes in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini tour. Be well and be blessed.